Hi friends, I'm Cheyenne and this is my YouTube channel Between Clean Sheets dedicated to all things Major League Soccer but more specifically DC United. I am a resident of the district after a year away in Kansas City. I am so excited to be back and to be a full season ticket member with Audi Field. I personally will be attending the game this weekend. If you didn't know there was a game this weekend then I have a couple things to catch you up on. We are in week six of the 2019 season and I am so excited that spring has finally sprung. If you are in town for the cherry blossoms or if you have a free weekend and find yourself at Audi Field on Saturday, I have a few things that will make watching the game even more enjoyable. Wayne Rooney is in his first full season with DC United. This time last year, he was still playing with Everton. Now, every game so far, he has played all 90 minutes. The last home game you may have missed against Real Salt Lake had a hat trick. And last week against Orlando, he turned a free kick from the corner into a single goal. Rooney! What a goal from Wayne Rooney! Look at this. Up and over in that far post. Brilliant. Now the bromance is still very much alive for our number nine Wayne Rooney and Lucho Acosta, our number 10, but both of them have had very interesting off seasons. Back in December, Rooney did what everyone traveling in or out of Dulles does. He mixed a little bit too much alcohol with a little bit too much sleeping pills. And when he landed in town from Saudi Arabia, he was so intoxicated that he was arrested. <laughs> This is on top of a suspended driver's license he has in the UK. There's something about being a Liverpool boy with a Scouse accent that to me inherently applies that you're just a public drunk mess. It's been good, I've enjoyed it, um, settling in well. Good, good group of lads. Of course, that hasn't changed the fact that he's a total boss on and off the field. He's still our captain and was the perfect shoulder to cry on when Lucho Acosta's dreams of going to Europe were absolutely crushed in the off season. At the end of January, the final day of the transfer window, DC United was in talks with PSG from Ligue 1 about a possible transfer of Lucho Acosta for a deal that I heard was at best $10 million. Now, in the midst of this negotiation, Acosta and his agent flew to Paris for him to get a physical, but of course the clock struck midnight and he had to fly back. His dreams were crushed, he and Wayne had a good chat. It obviously has not changed his play or his attitude on the field, but it's rumored that this week negotiations between Lucho's agent and DC United will resume. His contract is up at the end of the season, and according to an article I read in The Athletic, he has interest from several clubs, including two teams from Ligue 1, possibly still PSG, a mid-table Premier League team, a team in Saudi Arabia, and some team in Turkey. My guess is that DC will be doing everything in its power to keep Lucho, obviously through the end of his contract, keep the bromance alive, and keep us in contention for the cup. Am I speaking too soon that we may be winning the MLS Cup? I am not. We are headed into week six as the only team in Major League Soccer that is undefeated. We've had a lot of clean sheets. We are great candidates for the MLS Cup, and at the very least, the Supporters' Shield, the title, or honor bestowed upon the team with the best regular season record. So it's in Lucho's best interest to continue crushing for a lucrative contract at the end of the season, whether with us or with somebody else. And hey, it's not unrealistic for me to think that we could very easily win Supporter Shield. And of course, because I can't ever say anything in this channel without writing it down, Week six, you say? Yeah, maybe you've been sleeping on Major League Soccer. <laughs> Honestly, maybe you have. There's something about the first couple of weeks of the season where people who normally aren't paying attention don't really realize that the season is underway. And hey, that's okay. It is a long season. We started back in the beginning of March. We hosted MLS Cup champions Atlanta at home. It rained the entire time. I was miserable, everyone was miserable, but now that spring is sprung, we are uh, expecting rain. We're expecting rain. My other notes say spring is sprung, cherry blossoms are out, first home game in decent weather, and we're playing the. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? Is Kyle Beckerman even worth it? I can't, I can't look at that. We're a, we're a work in progress here. Maybe at some point I'll find something more fitting, more DC specific to put on the wall, but my brother got me this for Christmas a couple years ago. I really like Kyle Beckerman. May he and Real Salt Lake rest in peace.
We crushed them. Our last home game, we crushed them 5-0. I told you, Wayne Rooney had a hat trick. It was insane. It was a cold game, but it was insane. Okay, I wanna finish this out. Say you go to the game. Here are a couple things you need to know. LAFC are in their second season. Their coach is former US men's national team coach, Bob Bradley. They have a brand new stadium, and fun fact, they've never actually traveled to DC before. Because again, remember, we didn't have Audi Field or anywhere worth traveling to until last July. The LAFC star of note is Mexican national and World Cup veteran Carlos Vela, who had a hat trick for himself against the San Jose Earthquakes last week. And the key to reigning in LAFC is to make sure we always have a man on that guy. As for DC United, you know I mentioned Wayne Rooney and Lucho Costa. We've got a few others. Paul Ariola, who's been called up to national team camps and may play this summer for the Gold Cup. His girlfriend actually started a YouTube channel I have yet to watch. Russell Knaus, who has also played a bit for the men's national team, but didn't waste any time getting his plan B together for his post-MLS career. It's pronounced Knaus. Now you know. Steve Birnbaum, who scored his first goal of the season last week against Orlando, plays center defense and recently announced with his goal celebration that he is a father-to-be. And of course, Ben Olsen, still coaching in his thousandth year with the team. His contract has been extended to 2021. And a player you may not know but worth mentioning, Junior Moreno. He is in his second full year with the team and is a great defender and complement to Knaus in our 4-2-3-1 formation. Second full year, great defender. Okay. He is part of the Venezuelan wave of players who have come up to America to play, most notably, of course, being Joseph Martinez with Atlanta United. And because Between Clean Sheets isn't about predictions, I'm just gonna say, come to Audi Field. It is going to be a good game. My fingers are always crossed for a win. What I will say is this will be a true test of DC United's ability, obviously playing a team that has done nothing but crush in their respective conference. It will be a game worth watching, and it will be a game that will indicate exactly where we're headed for the rest of the season. And I think I forgot to mention Bill Hamid in goal. <laughs> And as far as Audi Field is concerned, Saturday's game is at 2.30. Some light rain is expected, but please do not let that deter you from supporting the team and watching the best in the East versus the best in the West. There is no more clear bag policy. I repeat, there is no more clear bag policy. Also, season tickets are mobile. I think most tickets are mobile, actually. Myself, I'll be at the Eagle Bank Club before the game, feasting on all the things that Jose Andres has blessed us with. And as much as I love the supporter section, what I love most is watching it from the other side of the field. Apparently, Fox Sports will be doing their pre-game, post-game broadcast from the supporter section. And lastly, if you decide to watch from the comfort of your own home, I hope you have access to Fox Sports or MLS Live, which fortunately is not the streaming platform that DC United decided to partner with this year, Flow Sports. If you've heard anything about Flow Sports, I hope that it's not good because I would hate for it to not be the truth. I will dedicate an entire video to all things Flow Sports next week at some point. This is my, of course, first video of the season. I'm a little bit behind, but I am so excited to be back in DC. And if you by chance find yourself at Audi Field between now and the end of the season, holler. I am at BTWN Clean Sheets on Twitter, and I do all game day fun from my Instagram at BTWN clean sheets as well and i hope to see you guys there keep warm be safe peace love soccer um thank you goodbye oh i also forgot to mention that la galaxy and vancouver play tonight so if you want to have some soccer to talk about that's recent start your weekend like all good weekends do on a friday watch some zlatan ibrahimovic and whoever plays for vancouver now that isn't alfonso davies support mls and i'll see you tomorrow at audi field Thank you.